In this video, we're going to use Minitab 19 to calculate normal distribution probabilities. We're going to do this homework problem as an example. It says, an expensive watch is powered by a 3-volt lithium battery expected to last 3 years. Suppose the life of the battery has a standard deviation of 0.7 year and is normally distributed. Part A says to determine the probability that the watch's battery will last longer than 3.5 years. So a little a bit of a tricky part of this problem is they're telling me that the watch is powered by a battery that is expected to last three years. That is an expected value, or in other words, that's the mean. The standard deviation is 0.7, and we want to find the probability that the battery will last longer than 3.5 years. So we're going to do this in Minitab. For calculating probabilities, we're going to go to Graph and Probability Distribution Plot and then click on View Probability. Since this is a normal distribution problem, I can leave normal selected in the distribution box. I'm going to enter my mean and standard deviation. My mean was three years, and my standard deviation was 0.7 years. Then I'm going to click on Options. Now, the first problem is asking me to determine the probability that the battery will last longer than 3.5 years. So 3.5 is going to be the x value, and I'm going to be looking for the right tail because I want to know the probability of lasting longer than 3.5 years. So I'm going to select right tail and enter 3.5 in the x value box. Then I click OK and click OK again. And here's my graph. So notice I have the mean of 3, the standard deviation of 0.7, and I have 3.5 marked on the x-axis, and everything to the right of 3.5 is shaded. My probability appears above the shaded area, so in this case, 0.2375 is my answer. Make sure that you round the way that Minitab, uh, or sorry, the way that MyLab is asking you to round. In this case, they want four uh, digits after the decimal point. For part B, now I want to know the probability that the battery will last more than 2.75 years. So my mean and standard deviation are the same, and uh, they will still be in Minitab. What's changing is my x value. I do still want more or longer than um, the number of years, but now my x value is 2.75. So looking at this graph, I can see my answer here is uh, 0 0.6395. Part C is a little bit different. Now I want to compute the length of life value for which 15% of the watch's batteries last longer. Now this time, instead of giving me the x value, they're giving me the percentage here or the probability or the proportion. So what I need to do is go back to Minitab. I'm going to go to Probability Distribution Plot and View Probability again. My mean and standard deviation are not changing, but this time I'm shading the area corresponding to a specified probability. Remember, probabilities are always between 0 and 1. If they're giving you the probability as a percentage, in this case it was 15%, I would enter that as a decimal, 0 0.15. And I want to know the length of life value for which 15% of the batteries last longer. So values that last longer are on the right, so it's going to be a right tail. And looking at my graph, I see 0 0.15 is the shaded area, which is what I wanted. I want to find the value on the x-axis. That's going to be where my answer is. So 3.726 is going to be my answer in this case. Now they're asking me to round to one decimal place, so I would round this to 3.7. And that's how you use the normal distribution in Minitab 19.